Hi everybody and welcome to my basic Expresso tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I want to show and demonstrate how effective can Expresso uh, be and uh, we will show that Expresso is a very, very nice feature. Uh, we will demonstrate it on this one, pretty simple example. We will prepare this piston engine. Uh, I am not sure with, <laughs> with the pistons order. It can be a bit different but uh, I don't know it, just sorry, but it's also important for us, I think. Uh, and you can see I can rotate by the rotation object only, and it uh, rotates all of uh, all parts of my of my engine, and it works really correctly. And I can adjust the position of my of my object as well. There's no problem. Expresso is simple, very nice feature. It's not so. We can see it's not so modern at the moment. Uh, the market knows much more effective and more complex solution solutions. But Expresso itself is pretty old, but still very very effective. I, I use it very very often for modeling, for animations, and for rigging as well. And uh, Expresso can do our life much much easier. Just, it's pretty important for almost everybody who want uh, who wants to get really nice result and uh, animate animate uh, animate uh, scenes without extra effort, as you can see. And maybe some short uh, RAM that uh, we can use other uh, other uh, Cinema 4D features as well. We can use for this one task. Uh, Character menu and constraint text. It's another way, but uh, this one way is pretty complicated uh, because you must still set really correctly and suitable uh, priority uh, settings. It's uh, is the all the settings of uh, of the rig, and other way is that we can use dynamics system and connector object. And last, we can use uh, coffee or other uh, language, of course. But Expresso is for everybody because Expresso feature is uh, a feature of Cinema 4D Prime version. Just uh, Expresso can use really everybody. And uh, oh, okay, <laughs> that's almost all. And as you can see, I can run it under this one object, and. It will animate the wool, wool pistol engine that I have. It's really nice, I think. We will learn how effective Expresso can be. We will learn uh, base, uh, basic tips and tricks that can be very, very useful, for example. Uh, you will see that uh, this one piston will be always linked automatically without without uh, drag and drop or other just thing. Uh, we can see that we can uh, use uh, user data, for example, and other settings. Just just that. In case you want to follow me, just download uh, the file that plays on my web pages, and the link you can find uh, bottom of this tutorial. Uh, in the tutorial description. Okay, uh, the object itself, the scene itself is pretty, pretty simple. Lightning is not so important for us. I've uh, added this one part, this, uh, this one settings. For us, it's important the piston object itself, and this one object I've uh, named it uh, 01, and it contains piston rod object as well. What's really very really important for us for this uh, tutorial is a uh, uh, piston rod object position in object absolute mode to zero one object and is the position in z direction in this case as you can see and it is uh, 64 to the left in negative direction uh, and the other that important for us is that the piston rod itself has length 125 units in z direction. 
is very important because uh, it's uh, the set, it's uh, the physical size and the physical uh, physical uh, so we can see engineering uh, design of of the object itself, and we must still we will still calculate uh, with with uh, these values because we must use simple mathematic uh, formulas uh, if we want to get a correct result. Okay, but we can start with something different. We can add simple target uh, text to the piston rotor object and use uh, piston one to to place this uh, piston one object to target tar, uh, tar, target object field. If I can, I usually use uh, these simple simple tags because they can do our life very, very easier and uh, work is very simple with that. Okay, just go to the right settings and I must uh, I must show you the way that we will uh, that we will use. I can use uh, I can use uh, doodle settings for that. Just I must just uh, must adjust settings. Doodle paint. Okay. What we will use? It's pretty simple, and uh, it take it will take us uh, take us uh, to the school back to the school. I think because. This one object rotates only. You can see it will rotate in this direction. Yes, that's pretty simple. It rotates around this axis. And we can imagine that it will rotate around uh, 30 degrees, for example. It can look it can look like this. It can be in this position. Uh, piston itself cannot move in uh, Z and X direction. It cannot move in this direction and it cannot move in this direction as well. It's not possible, of course. It can move in epsilon direction only. So as you can imagine that the piston rod will go up to this place and here will be our piston object. We know the angle. It's, as we said before, something around 30 degrees, for example. We now this one line. Just a moment, I will change my, the color. We now this one line is 40, uh, sorry, uh, 64. In case we know the angle and the line of this one object, we are able to get this opposite side. You can uh, name it A, for example, and we are able to get uh, uh, the hypotenuse side as well. It can be B, this one, and this one B is the same like this one. In case we know this one side, we are able to get the line of this one opposite side can be C and in case we add A and C we will get epsilon position of the piston. Pretty simple. We can use we must use sin, sin function, cos function and uh, Pythagoras sentence. That's all. Choose so, uh, um, as I said before, it uh, will take us back to the school, elementary school, of course. <laughs> but you will see, it's not so complicated. Uh, just select this one object and add Expresso tag to the object, and we can start. And I can delete uh, this one doodle object.